All right, I know very much that the interest is in what the media is portraying concerning modern uh, slavery. And for me, it's like, I think it's like, what, what do we mean by modern slavery? Yeah. For me, it's just slavery. And there's nothing old or recent or modern or traditional. It's just someone who is not free to express their thoughts, their feelings, uh, their needs and basically to be able to, to identify who we are and what do we, how we see ourselves within this world, this galaxy possibly and what can we do, uh, you know, in, in, in the sense of relationship. I, I think uh, very much all the media is showing um, slavery that we have in Northern uh, Africa but slavery is being kind of committed everywhere around the world. Sometimes in our own communities, uh, against women, against children, against older people, you know, the elderly. And I think it's high time we kind of start considering um, all these aspects and not very much what the media is, 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 is uh, uh, the concepts we get from the media, but we actually think deeper because. Uh, it's, it's, it's very important. And sometimes we have our own, we slave ourselves, we slave our own thoughts, we slave our own uh, ways of, we, we are enslaved to our ways of life and it's very important that we keep an open mind that. Uh, so what can we do individually on that topic? So looking back into ourselves, what if in a sense we're not happy, we're being enslaved by our thoughts and cultures and concepts that we have in our lives or actually when it has to it relates to communities or certain minorities or certain groups who are not given the rights that they, they deserve so let's think a bit deeper about this freedom to me means a lot of things freedom of speech freedom of the press and most importantly freedom of thought Lately, a lot of journalists have been actually captured and tortured for many, many years even for simply voicing their version of the truth, their um, opinions, their thoughts. And for some reason, they were not given the freedom to voice these opinions. And I think that's very damaging. Um, the most important freedom we have today is the freedom to think whatever we want. And that was a freedom that not many people had back in the days of the Inquisition, where you would be put to death or burned at the stake for simply saying that the sun didn't go around the earth. So today we have a lot to do. So I think that um, freedom as a teacher is me standing in front of my class and teaching my students and me not being scared that somebody's going to shoot me or I have to take out my gun to shoot somebody else. Me teaching happily and peacefully. Uh, freedom is when uh, you act upon what your heart desires and um, there's no one stopping you from doing what you love. To me, freedom means uh, having resources and being able to make decisions uh, and be an autonomous person. So you can, with an, a certain amount of resources, be able to say, this is the life plan that I want to, and have civil liberties, and as long as you're not harming anyone, be able to make and create the life that you want to. For me, freedom is when you can act upon free will and have the right to speak what you want to say. And uh, and freedom is when where certain people come, who can everyone has a full right, you can go everywhere they want. Modern slavery, uh, modern slavery is a practice that is inflicted upon people who don't have the same amount of rights or the same amount of um, amount of privileges that other people do. So they are made to do things by people in higher positions of power that they do not want to do. Um, they can be forced in, and they're normally forced into it, I guess. Yeah. Freedom is something that people need to believe 
people need to think, people need to speak, people need to worship whatever they like. They should move about freely, they should act the way they want. So it's just not only few words, it means freedom means love. Okay, I, I think that the uh, freedom basically has to do with, for me, the mind. Anything that prevents you from using your mind effectively, for me, is a form of slavery. Uh, because everything really starts up here. And therefore, any group, any ideology, any, um, especially religion and creed, that prevents you from using your mind. For me, it's the greatest threat to My own impressions on uh, freedom is uh, freedom is actually a power uh, given to people in terms of their own expression, in terms of how they think, how they act, how they relate to other people. Uh, and so fundamentally, I think uh, freedom is empowerment of people to be able to do what they feel is right for them. Uh, in the absence of that, uh, I suppose you, you can consider it a form of slavery, something uh, we tend to even witness till date. Uh, many parts of the world are still experiencing uh, some form of slavery, uh, whether it is their inability to express themselves in terms of um, their political rights uh, or democratic freedoms or whatever. Um, certainly there's some element of uh, enslavement still being witnessed for the world. So that's my own question. Freedom to me means the ability to follow your dreams, to pursue what you most want to do without any kind of fear of any sort of repercussions and not being held back by anyone. And it's particularly important now because we've seen more recently that in Libya, for example, you have slave markets. Those people do not deserve that and do not want that. They are, they are striving for their dreams and deserve to be free. As do you. Freedom is to know the freedom of others. From my perspective, uh, freedom is the ability of expressing yourself and what you're feeling without being uh, judged by others. Okay. Freedom to me is when someone is able to do whatever he wants, express whatever feelings he has, but without harming other people. Like doing things that is good for yourself and also good for others, like caring for yourself. What is it is having all the resources you need, probably in your country or in the West Coast, but not having the full capacity to do it. To me, modern slavery is how basically we're in the 21st century and people say we've moved on from the past times. So slavery is not really a thing, but it's still prominent. It occurs in like the most little things that we see, even in places like school, where people's rights are infringed on, where it's not really regarded. Modern slavery is not really seen, but it's still apparent even with regards to technology or people's rights to feel free about what they think is right but are still shut up in a way not to voice out what they think is right or how probably even on the streets we'll see someone trying to project what like their culture but is seen as the wrong thing or as haram or something like that but still counts as slavery, which is people's freedom being infringed for their rights. Modern slavery to me is the modern slavery to me is how technology nowadays have taken over the world, and every human must have one. People suffer to get money just to pay for them. I think that uh, freedom means for me that you are able to express yourself in a very free way and uh, you are not judged, you are not feeling judged by any other person. Freedom to me means the right to express yourself and the right to dress how you want and be whoever you want to be regardless of your race, your religion, colour, creed or sexual orientation. Basically anything that you feel like you want to do that makes you happy, you should do it and that's what I think. Freedom to me is your ability to live life the way you want to. To you, the way you want to live life, uh, to um, 
to have your rights being appreciated and respected, your rights to security, your rights to health, um, and also freedom, and also education. And uh, freedom is is important to all of us because it te it shows us it shows who it shows us who we really are and not and shows who is an individual and who moves freedom to me is the ability to express yourself um, by talking or doing something that you want instead of being forced to do something you don't want like in prison and things like I think uh, a good example of modern slavery today is child slavery, I mean child labor, and why I think people think it's alright and don't classify it as child labor is because they feel like it's an easy way out and okay, it shouldn't make... be um, criticized as much because they think they're helping the children out, but they're really not and they're just setting them back to live. Freedom uh, to me is the right to have a liberty in choosing what you want, what to what you want to wear, what you want to say, what you, where you want to, what you want to do, um, who you want to be with. And yeah, like people should love each other who they are, and they can choose to exercise. The like the right to do whatever you want, however you want, or to think what you want within like logical, reasonable restrictions. The ability to do whatever I want under the guidance of law, under the guidance of freedom means when you have the privilege to do whatever you want, when you're free and you're not you. Freedom basically means you can do whatever you want. Uh, freedom means the liberty to do anything you want and to do, uh, to be responsible for what you do. Freedom to me is self-empowerment, um, not considering others' judgments and being positive to yourself. Okay, so for me, freedom, what does freedom mean to the child? What does freedom mean to the adult? Uh, what does freedom mean to everybody? For me, freedom means, to the child, freedom means allowing the child the room to operate, but with some restrictions, some restrictions in the sense that the child must be guided. And so, uh, freedom means allowing the child uh, to, to come out with whatever they want to say, to do what they want to do, under very little restriction and protection. To the adult, um, I think that freedom is um, making sure that you yourself do not curtail someone else's freedom. Someone said that my freedom ends where another person's freedom stops. And so making sure that you don't curtail someone's freedom, making sure that you give other people you know, the room to operate and making sure that you do everything possible to end whatever we call the modern day slavery. Adults are involved in either selling or, if you like, buying children for the purpose of cocoa farming, for the purpose of fish farming every now and then. For me, if adults decide that we are not going to get into these acts and transactions, for me, I also think that we are also contributing to uh, freedom. So that's what I think. Freedom to me means when there aren't any restrictions, when someone has the liberty to do um, whatever he needs, and when he has the liberty to achieve what he wants. Freedom is having access to all human rights, fairly, um, fairly treated. Freedom is a very important part of life that everybody deserves and should get. So modern day freedom to me is when a person feels the ability to be, to be themselves who are free and basically express themselves in whatever way is suitable. Um, and for modern day slavery, I feel like we enslave each other somehow, especially in modern days by using some derogatory tones between each other and treating each other like a specific.
like for example, shooting a specific gender like they're below another, or basically dehumanizing somebody because of their race, because of their ethnicity, because of the person they feel like they are.